I don't know about you guys, but everything I've been seeing lately is unicorn Starbucks Frappuccino, unicorn fucking sushi donut, unicorn hot chocolates, unicorn everything. And I was thinking to save my dying channel, it's about time I make something that's at least searchable. So out of all the vegan things that I could have made unicorn theme, trust me, there's a lot. I have decided to go with unicorn hummus. Well, obviously because I am the undeniable self-claimed hummus queen. So today I'm gonna justify that title and recreate, well, actually create because I think I'm the first one on the internet to make unicorn hummus. So if you guys are ready, let's get this video started. You guys, it is so hot. I'm like fucking. Oh. So for this recipe, I was thinking that I could just basically go with the most lazy version of it, which is like buying hummus at the shop and food colorings and just mix it all together and make a unicorn hummus. But we want to make it at least a bit healthy. So we're gonna try creating this unicorn hummus with some healthy ingredients this time. So I have prepared Hinoti Meloche beetroot juice because it is pink, which is hopefully gonna make our hummus nice and pink. I got this like spirulina flakes. Hopefully it can give like a bit of a blue color, but I really have no idea. And if it's a fail, it's a fail. At least it's gonna be tasty because it's hummus. So for the actual hummus, I decided to buy my hummus because I live in Israel and hummus is so cheap and so delicious and it's everywhere. So I got a half a kilo tub of hummus from like this really cool hummus place. But if you guys are wanting to make your own hummus for this recipe, then I have the best recipe in my ebook. So you can go and check it out. The link is gonna be in the description down below. Mmm, mm. so good. I also got these like chickpea cooked stuff to put on top for some garnishing. What do you call this in English? I have no idea. Radish, little radish, and uh, lemon for good measure or for decoration. Let's do this. All right, so we're gonna start with dividing our hummus into three so that we can have like three different colors. Let's start with the pink one. Whoa, that's pretty. Let's see how we go. And now I'm just gonna try with the spirulina side of things and see how this hummus turns out to be. This might be like the biggest fail of this video, but we'll see, we'll see. I think I'll first start with trying to melt this. I don't know if it's gonna melt because it's algae, but we'll see. That looks better. Ooh. Oh, well that's green, isn't it? Okay. That didn't turn out the way I wanted to. All right, now I added a bit of like beetroot juice and I think it was a mistake. Did you look at that? It's not as terrible as I thought. Well, these are the colors that came out. This is really pretty, but this one is like, oh. Algae hummus, like no thanks. I guess I'm just gonna like plate it all up. For the finishing touches i'm just gonna pour a bit of ground sumac which is like hopefully pink we're just oh oh that is not super pink and last but not least a bit of olive oil oh my god yes oh this looks so good look at this look at this okay it looks pretty good doesn't look unicorn but it does look freaking good Now that we are finished, we have the pictures, potential thumbnails, and all the Snapchat and Instagram, which by the way, you should be following me at. I am about to try our hummus because mm, it's lunchtime and I didn't eat, so I'm hungry. I'm actually super nervous to try this out because I'm not a big fan of algae in general. Like, it took me literally nine years till I started eating sushi, and that's probably like the only seaweed I can 
handle. But hopefully I'm only gonna scoop up the pink stuff. Are you ready guys? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Bottoms up. I scooped up a bit of the algae. Ugh. Oh, I can still feel it. Ugh. I actually cannot. <laughs> I actually cannot. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Guys, I'm going in for a second try. I am only going to scoop up, hopefully, pink hummus. So far, no green things. I'm safe. I'm safe. Okay, cheers. Okay, I think if you guys want to make this, you definitely have to find a different way. Those of you who don't like seaweed, oh my god, you need to find a different solution for the color because, yeah. I cannot handle. Alright guys, that is it for this unicorn hummus attempt. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video. If you're gonna try making this recipe for whatever unknown reason, definitely tag me on Instagram and send me on Snapchat. I'd love to see your unicorn hummus creations. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you press that thumb up button, comment on it, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new here. Check out my ebooks, my Patreon, and my t-shirt shop. Follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you in the next video. Love you guys. Bye!